In the arid high desert of Idaho, water has always been referred to as liquid gold. On the Boise River system that feeds the lush green Treasure Valley of Idaho, a water war is unfolding between water rights holders and the state agency that manages the precious resource. State water managers want to start counting flood control water releases that flow downriver and out of state without any beneficial use by water rights holders as part of the annual allotment users are provided by law. Legislators representing those users came to the State House last week to demand a halt to what they call an unjustified and unprovoked attempt by the state of Idaho to alter the system of Boise River water rights. Legislator Tom Daly called on the Idaho Department of Water Resources to stand down. This is an important event that we're having here trying to accomplish basically two things. One, call the attention of our electorate and every citizen in this valley the importance of this issue, and two, to ask the Department of Water Resources in the state of Idaho to stand down in what they're doing in trying to take away our water. A special master of the Snake River Basin Adjudication Court released a ruling in October that sides with Treasure Valley irrigators who believe flood control releases should not count against their stored water rights. State Senator and Attorney Jim Rice. And now the director, a bureaucrat, wants to take and overrule the courts of the state of Idaho because he thinks he has more authority to decide the law than the courts do, and he's wrong. Users fear water supply could be gone as early as June in some irrigation districts if the flushed water is included in the annual allotments. And dairy farmer Lou McGurdio says that's not good for the entire valley. The, the amount of money that Ag puts into the state coffers is huge let alone all the golf courses, all your lawns, all the housing developments that would, that would run out of water. So it's, it's, it's monumental losing that water. The issue now appears to be headed to both the courts and the legislative process for resolution. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.